Bienvenidos al Green Room, yo soy Natasha Gargiulo. Jack Black regresa a su papel de Paul, el maestro de Kung Fu más improbable del mundo en Kung Fu Panda 4 y no podía esperar para comenzar este nuevo capítulo. When I first heard that they were going to make another Kung Fu Panda, I was like, yes, because it had been a long time and I didn't know if that was ever going to happen again. I thought maybe that ship had sailed and I'd always kind of secretly hoped there'd be some more adventures because, uh, you know, once you've had a taste of adventure, and you've been on a magnificent journey, you always dream about one more. Just want to get out there one more time. I want to kick that butt one more time. It is so fun to be in the booth with Jack. I, I, I mean, I, I hope that they cut my feed because I'm like laughing sometimes so hard. I, I, I can't even do my line right. And he's such a brilliant performer. He's so, he obviously so good at playing Poe. Poe's like a child at heart. And that's my favorite part to play because uh, I've always felt like I'm at my best when I'm having fun and when I'm, you know, joking around like I, like I always did when I was a kid all the way till now. That's always kind of been my, my secret sauce. A chameleon, I wanted to play a villain. I did. I mean, I can only play a villain in my imagination. I try to play a villain at home, it doesn't work. No one believes it. <laughs> so I feel that Playing a villain, especially a no holes bar villain that can transform and to be able to use my voice in that character, um, it just seemed like a perfect marriage. The chameleon is definitely the most dangerous villain. Um, and, and I think Viola does a very, very uh, good job at, at, at creating this very scary uh, character. You know what, because they're sort of reluctant heroes. And I think that sparks something in all of us, you know, the, 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 the part of us that wants to conquer the world and may not have any evidence of it on the outside. I mean, Poe himself doesn't necessarily look like, you know, uh, a ninja warrior. Poe's got an innocence about him that's uh, kind of fun and ridiculous and embarrassing and people can relate to that because everyone's got a little Poe inside of them, a little part of them that doesn't know the right thing to say or do in any situation that feels a little outside of the norm. And uh, you kind of root for him in that way. And I think that's why he connected with so many people. 